So whatever we learned in the previous class, I make sure that I reinforce that. Then we'll take some notes on new material or vocabulary. And then we practice or read. Currently, we're reading a novel. And I'm going to get some copies. But we're reading a novel um, called Robo en la Noche. And that's interesting. <laughs> and then I always um, try to get a closure uh, moment. So this is for us to reflect on our material. So my philosophy is that it is really important for us to reflect and have that moment to try to better ourselves. So that's what I do with my students. I want them to always try to think, OK, what did I do? Why can I do better? That's all, something that I always do. And then their homework, a lot of people have been asking me if I give homework or not. I don't give them homework strictly, but I do ask them to study for 15 minutes. So whatever we learn in class, I ask them to review it. And finish assignments. I don't think in this class we've had any assignments that they don't do in class, so they haven't really had homework. But yeah. Um, what else? Oh. So for us, and I'm pretty sure you, you've heard about this, we don't follow common core. We follow something that is aligned, some standards, standards that are aligned to common core. And our five Cs, the five main components are communication, cultures, connections, comparisons, and communities. Yeah, expectations. I'm not very strict, as your children can tell you. I'm not, I don't like to be the mean teacher, and as you saw, you, a lot of you came in late. That happens all the time, all the time. And that's okay. I take, I, I on purpose take a little bit longer to take attendance, because I don't want to penalize them for that. But um, I just ask them to be respectful, try to be on time, um, with a positive attitude, help each other, put away the cell phones, and do their best and enjoy learning a new language. Um, yeah, this class is great. I haven't had any issues with anything, to be honest. Like, it's great. So, these are just community guidelines. It's not even strict. And the main thing that I want to cover is my website. I don't know if you, you've heard that I have a website, maybe, here and there. Um, so I want to show you what this looks like, and that's my daddy. Um, <laughs> So the website is tinyurl.com slash Ms. I have some cards over there that you can take that have it. The syllabus has it everywhere. It's everywhere. Um, so if you go on to the main page, you're going to see this announcement tab. And if you scroll, you can see little um, reminders that I give the students. So this is from a few days ago telling them that they had a retake, so if they wanted to retake the quiz, I had a session during lunch, and that their notebooks are due tomorrow. So it's just an explanation, and I've been doing that. I've been telling them, hey, this is due, we have a quiz, etc." Something that I do want to say is that this is not the way I announce things. So I do tell them in class, I remind them. I've been telling them since Monday, your notebook is due on Friday. So this is just support. If your child doesn't have a phone, that's totally okay, because I do tell them in class. I tell them and remind them and remind them. So this is just support. If you go over here, you're going to see a little about me. There's my doggy. Uh, you're going to see a little note for you. So telling you my goals, um, what we're going to do in the class, and telling you a little bit about the website. I have the syllabi here, so for my five, six, this is what it looks like, and it's always going to be there. And then I have my one, two, and all the things that they've been learning. And right here, I, ha I have five, six. So I have a little video of Costa Rica, because the novel that we're reading is set in Costa Rica. Um, and then this tab is probably the most important. This is where I, where I give them the assignment. So, this is not an official assignment. It's just a little no one note on how I, uh, I suggest for them to take notes during the reading. So it's just an extra reminder. And this was on my PowerPoint as well. So I already explained this, but it's like, hey, in case you missed it, in case you wanna, you're wondering, it's there. I upload my slides sometimes as well. 
and then I have some information in Latin America, and some really annoying videos that help them memorize stuff. <laughs> That's what I focus on, you can ask them. I play super annoying videos and super silly, but it helps them. It's helped them just for the quizzes. It's, it, they have really helped them. Um, so yeah, I have a lot of videos and extra support, and I even um, upload additional handouts or material that I didn't necessarily go over in class, but it can help them. And then I just have, we went over this. This is the, the five elements of literature. So it's right there. And I gave them this handout. And then I have, oh, this is good. You're going to love it. And the kids are going to hate me probably. But this is my calendar. And this is where I upload the things that are happening. So for example, not a lot of quizzes or anything happened this week. But if we go back, I told you that they had a quiz. And the magical thing about this is that, hi, I, if you want me to, I can actually add you to the calendar so you can get notifications about it. So if you want to, just write me a note, give me your Gmail or email, and I'll send this to you, and you'll get notifications. And I also have super useful links and resources that can help them. And these are very useful for this class because they're a little bit more advanced. So for example, if they don't have special characters, this is the link. If they need flashcards, if they want to learn how to conjugate, I have all these links and super useful apps. Like, so these are the names of the apps that I recommend to learn Spanish, and they're mostly free. I think all of them are free, or just like one or two are not, but it's just additional support. And then I have this little page about how to contact me, and my email is there. So I'm super accessible, I'm here for you. I have my email on my phone. I check it all the time. So yeah, if you have any questions, I'm here for you. Um, any questions?